In this video, we're going to be setting up the Ledger Nano S and installing applications with the new Ledger Live software. The first thing you want to do is make sure you buy your Ledger Nano S from a reputable dealer. And if you're not sure who that might be, it's best to buy from Ledger themselves. Setting up the Ledger Nano S can be a bit confusing for the first timer. You used to have to use the Chrome browser to set up the software, but now Ledger has introduced a new Ledger Live software, which can add an extra layer of security if set up properly. So I'm going to unbox my Ledger Nano S, and when I unbox it, I am first presented with the Ledger Nano S itself. There is a black pullout. And underneath that, I have a few documents. So if I open this, let me see, I see a did you notice sheet, a getting started guide, and a recovery sheet. Now the recovery sheet is very important. I'm going to put 24 words on this page later to recover my device. And the getting started page has a URL, start.ledgerwallet.com, where I will download the software. Inside the box, I have a USB cable. Looks like some sort of tie thing. Not sure what this would be used for. And a keychain. I guess if I wanted to put this on my keychain. All right, so I went to the URL listed to download the software and I just click the button to download. Once it's downloaded, just find the exe file on your computer and double click that and install the software. Now this just takes a few seconds. And once it's installed, just click finish and the application will run automatically. So let's get started. This is a new device, so let's initialize. It's a Ledger Nano S. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then continue. So I'm gonna to have to choose a pin on the device itself. Now there's gonna be a welcome message and this basically just says, I use the right and left buttons to toggle back and forth. And then when I wanna make a selection, I click both buttons at the same time. So let's see, let's push both buttons when I wanna continue. So let's do that now. I wanna configure as a new device. So I'll click the right button. Now let's choose a pin. Now your pin needs to be at least four digits. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter a pin now. Just click right and left to toggle. And then once I have the number I like, I'll click both buttons at the same time. And then I'll choose to check once confirmed. Now I gotta confirm my password a second time. So I'll go ahead and do this again, clicking the right and left buttons to find the numbers. And then once I have the password in there as I like it, I will scroll to the check mark and hit both buttons. So now I need to write down my recovery phrase. So I'll grab that recovery sheet I had before. My first word is used. So now I'm gonna put that on the recovery sheet. I'm gonna do this for all 24 words. Now it's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna pause this video and then come back. All right, so I've just written down all my words. So now I need to confirm them all. So the first word was used. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And I'm gonna do that for all 24 words. So that's gonna take a while. So once I have all 24 words confirmed, then I'm gonna come back and unpause the video. All right, so I filled out my recovery sheet and now it's time to finish installing the software. So did I choose to pin myself? I did. Did you save your recovery sheet? Yes. Now let's check to see if my device is genuine. Now you might have to click the allow manager on the device, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Good news, my device is genuine. Continue. Now we can enter a password, but this is optional. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this step. And here's some settings, they all look pretty good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. And my device is ready, all right. So now let's open up the Ledger software itself. 
Here's a little warning message. And now I need to install some applications. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll go ahead and install Bitcoin. So it's right at the top, so I can just click the install button. So it's installed pretty fast. Now if I couldn't find the coin I wanted, I could use this search box or I could just scroll down. There's many coins that the ledger supports, so you can just check them all out. Now one thing to note, you can only install four to five of these at any one time due to memory issues. If you want to install more than that, you would have to uninstall a previously installed app to install the new one. Now when you uninstall a previously installed app, if there's coins on the device, you do not lose them. You would just have to reinstall the deleted app to access those coins again. So let's go to the portfolio, add account. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Bitcoin. And I need to confirm that. And continue. Now it's syncing. So let's go ahead and rename this. Let's just call it Bitcoin. I don't need that one. Put the check mark in and add account. Now it could add more, but let's just stop at Bitcoin from now. You get the idea. So if I wanted to send, I would click the send button and then put the recipient's address in this box. Now let's go over to receive. Oh, and now I need to verify the address. So let's go ahead and click verify. Now the address shown on the screen should match the same address shown on the device. So once that's confirmed, go ahead and click the right button on the device. And now we have our address. So this is where people will send money. Now let's close down the software. So just go to the desktop and click the ledger liar and this is gonna launch the software. And just like before, if I click on manager, now I gotta go to the device and click the right check mark. And now I'm in the device. You can see I have one account, which is Bitcoin. And then if I wanna add more accounts, I would come over to this section and either search the box or just scroll down. And that's how you use the Ledger Nano S.